of the threat of some strongest of your storms, that window opening up at 7 a.m., lasting all the way through 6 p.m. this evening. We've got a cold front on the way. As it moves through, it's going to bring a line of thunderstorms. This is a slight level 2 out of 5. Orange color is an enhanced level 3 out of 5. So basically all of central Alabama under some type of risk today for a strong to severe storm. And the main threat as this line comes through looks to be damaging straight line winds. That would mean severe thunderstorm warnings. We could have winds up to 70 miles per hour with some of the strongest storms. Can't completely rule out a brief isolated tornado warning or two, though. Of course, make sure you've got a way to get warnings in case they're needed and kind of have a plan in place ready to go in case you need to use it. And some of the stronger storms could also produce hail up to quarter size. As we take a look across the southeast, here's the front. It's back here starting to push into Mississippi now, and we're starting to see the development of some thunderstorms out ahead of that front. Those are still off in Mississippi, but these will be slowly moving eastward, increasing in size and strength as they arrive in Alabama a little bit later this morning morning. In terms of the timeline, we are looking at 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. for locations like Haleyville, Winfield, Reform, Tuscaloosa, Utah, Jasper, Coleman, and then it's going to be sliding east slowly through the morning hours, impacting locations like Birmingham, Centerville, Clanton, Sylacauga, Pell City, Gadsden, Anison, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., and then eventually this is going to be exiting our state a little bit later in the afternoon. I believe that these storms will be all out of here by about 4 p.m. at the very latest today. So I did want to go ahead and time it out for you. We're going to start the clock here right now, and we've got temperatures in the 60s, as you guys were mentioning. Very warm, very humid out there. You can tell that we've had an increase in moisture ahead of this front. Front starts to move in. 8, 9 o'clock is when we start to see an increase in coverage of thunderstorms north and west of Birmingham. Here's noon. This line here is where we're watching for any kind of strong storms, any kind of isolated brief spin up. That's going to be moving towards Birmingham right around the lunch hour, slowly crossing through Birmingham through about 2 p.m. And then look what happens. It does start to kind of pick up a little bit of speed as it moves south and east of Birmingham by about 3, 4 o'clock. These storms are pushing off into Georgia, and then we're going to see much colder air filter in overnight and into early tomorrow. Worth noting, models continue to show the possibility of just a few quick flurries early tomorrow morning. You'll see those uh, kind of on the map here and there. No impacts from this, no accumulations from this. Uh, but also worth noting, even when we're not dealing with thunderstorms today, it is going to be very windy. We've got a wind advisory in place through 6 p.m. Winds outside of storms could be gusting as high as 40 miles per hour at times today. So windy with a line of storms moving through. A few of those could become strong to severe. We'll begin tomorrow morning with a few flurries, uh, mainly across the northern half of our area, so along to the north of I-20. But tomorrow afternoon is cold for everyone, with highs only reaching into the 40s.